Welcome to the inaugural Samvita Day. And, and how amazing was that? You know, it's so, thank you so much, Lisa. <laughs> and I wasn't joking. This was Rob Zutter's idea. I told him, be careful when you tell me an idea. It may actually happen. <laughs> It was a great idea. Thank you so much for that. I want to welcome all of you uh, to our inaugural Sambira Day. Hopefully, we'll turn this into a tradition. And this means a lot to us for you guys being here. And especially, I wanted to thank those who flew to Houston to be here. So can you raise your hand if you flew to Houston to be here? Thank you so much. In the middle of August, in hurricane, all the flight cancellation, I mean, this means you really love us. And guess what? We love you too. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, we have a very exciting day planned ahead of us. Uh, we're going to hear from industry visionaries, innovators, thought leaders, Scott Nyquist, uh, Jill Evanko, Maynard Holt, Rob Zeller, uh, Liz Persak Dennett. We're going to hear also from our team, our investors, and our customers. So I'm so pumped for the day that's ahead of us, and thank you all so much for being here. The reason that we're here is because it's really time for biology to shine. Uh, humanity has enjoyed the jumps in progress in the industrial revolution, in the digital revolution, and now it's time for biology to shine. And we've come a long way, but at the same time, this is happening with biology revolution, because we're also facing the biggest challenge to humanity ever, and that's the climate change. And this is exactly where Sambira sits, is to use biology to fight climate change. This is literally our mission, to, to bring this to life. We're holding this event here because this is a special place. This is actually where Sambira started, right next door in J Labs. This is where Samvita started, where Tara and I shared a bench uh, next door in J Labs. Now, the thing about a start of starting a biotech company is that you can't just code your MVP off of your couch <laughs> to then go talk to investors. You need to have access to really specialized and expensive equipment, wet lab. And J Labs and TMC made that possible for us. Uh, when we first started and realized, got to a point where we needed to have access to the lab space, we learned about J-Labs, we looked into it. I told Tara, I don't think they're going to let us in. I mean, all these companies are cancer therapeutics, they're biomedical devices, and here we are talking about CO2 to you know, different products, applications in energy and mining and this and that. Uh, but when we pitched Tom, kind of, now this is my side of the story. <laughs> I told Tara, we got to make this really resonate on the pharmaceutic side, because that's what J&J cares about. So we didn't say sugar, we said glucose. And we said, hey, we could also make sucrose, but you know, glucose is where we're starting. This is a platform for biomanufacturing of pharmaceutics. And Tom really got the vision and gave us a shot. So thank you, Tom, for believing in us and making the rest of this possible. This is Kind of early in 2019, though, whereas Samvita started in 2017, and we bootstrapped for about a year and a half. So let me take you back to where Samvita actually started, which is in our living room. <laughs> so this is a picture, you know, what actually my wife, Mary Jane, who is here, took from uh, Tara and me. This picture is also a real reminder for me not to ever grow my hair again. <laughs> so once in a while, I see that, I was like, oh, God, like, thank you. Uh, the second picture is where we received our first bioreactor that we bought used off of eBay because Amazon was too expensive, of course. And new, like don't even talk about new. This is all like used. But, you know, uh, we have long ways to go, but we've also come a long way. And um, as I was thinking about this party and kind of being five years old, I was wondering if there are you know, similarities with a five-year-old kid and a five-year-old company. So I Googled it like a good millennial. And guess what? I was actually pleasantly surprised. There's so much commonalities with a five-year-old. At five-year-old, you would expect independence. You would expect friendship and social play, which is kind of what we're doing today. 
And more importantly, you, ex you expect improved coordination. Samvita, we're 70 people now. We have three business units. We have two locations. We have corporate functions. And we're growing with improved coordination. So this really resonated with me. And as you know, thinking more about a five-year-old, the other thing that they do is that's the age where they're really getting good at in the house observing and finding where the cookie jars are. If you have a five-year-old, you know what I'm talking about. So in the past five years, we have also been observing the market in energy transition in different applications and learning where the cookie jars are, where is the stool, how to get it, how to get on it, how to not fall down and get to the cookie jar. So today, I'm excited to share with you where is Sambita today and what's next for us. The vision for Sambita is to deploy nature-inspired technology to empower, to empower the energy transition and create a brighter future. So I talk a lot about the future, so we're gonna go back to the future later in the presentation. But creating a brighter future is really key for all of us. And the way that we do that is through a set of microbial solutions for sustainable extraction of natural resources, for sustainable production of chemicals and fuels, and for sustainable renewal of any waste that's created within extraction and production, turning them back into other sources of value. Those then feed our platform, we're a platform company, and we have three distinct business units. First one is CO2-based biomanufacturing. This is where we host all the CO2-based chemicals, uh, bioethylene, which we're doing with our partners, Oxy, sustainable aviation fuels, which we're doing with our partners, United Airlines and Oxy, and we have other pathways in the pipeline. Later today, you will hear from Ernesto Simon, uh, who will tell you more about our biomanufacturing division and the vision for growth of that division. Second, we have biomining. This is the concept of using microbes for better extraction of metals, energy transition metals, from the ore. And we have a special focus on copper by leaching, and also we have a whole new method for bioextraction of lithium from lithium clay to enable you know, the electrification and the energy storage. Later today, you're gonna hear from Marnie Reeks, who is our VP of Biomining out of Denver, telling you about biomining. And then finally, we have subsurface biomanufacturing with our flagship project, Gold Hydrogen. Completely new way of producing hydrogen in situ in the subsurface using microbes that ferment the unrecovered oil and produce hydrogen. Later today, you're going to hear from Zach, the gold man, <laughs> telling you more about gold hydrogen. Microbes are the engine of some beta, but microbes need to be optimized, they need to be engineered, and they need to be scaled into economical solutions. And that's precisely what Samvita does through our very much so differentiated biofoundry. And later today, you're going to hear from Ben Reed, who is our director, our head of biofoundry bio operations, sharing with you the differentiation, the strategy, and growth plan for our biofoundry. We have taken an idea and turned it in the past five years into a whole new business category. And that's realized through several partnerships that you will see here. And we now have started the process for turning this traction into commercial solutions that we'll deploy in the next few years to come. I'm very grateful for all of our customers, investors, partners who really believed in us, who trusted in us uh, to make all of this possible. Later today, you're going to hear from some of them that are here uh, through two panels on energy transition and also climate tech investment, moderated by our own Charlie Nelson and also Blake Manuel. So, you know, the most rewarding part of my job, honestly, is just the opportunity to work with the amazing team that we have. And let me tell you, we have the most diverse team you will ever come across. I mean, just look around the room. More than 50% female. We have people from 20 plus different countries speaking 10 plus different languages all coming together. Something magical happens when you have a biohydrometallurgist next to a biogeochemist, next to a genetic engineer, process engineer in the same room, in the same meeting, brainstorming. And really, this is how we've come up with a lot of the best solutions that we have. 
At the same time, when you have such a diverse team, you need something to bring everything together, like the glue that kind of is the guiding light for everyone to go in the right direction, in the same direction, and operate as one body. What is that secret sauce? It's culture. So let me tell you about our culture and our core values that we call Samvita Code. Samvita Code is to be mission-minded. Everyone is here because we want to use biology to empower energy transition. We're also pioneering and persistent. We understand that obstacles spark imagination, and that then sparks innovation. And we're persistent in pushing through failures to achieve success. We're caring and candid. That means we build trust by communicating openly and listening to learn. And then finally, we're responsible for results. Every person knows how what they do moves the needle at some video and working in that direction. So we talked about the future. You know, we've done all these things. We've come uh, this, this far, and we still have long ways to go to create that bright future that we all want. And it is going to be our legacy. It's not just about, you know, this is a job. This is about our legacy. And for those of you who know me, I'm kind of obsessed about the future <laughs> to the point that past is kind of a mumbled, fuzzy memory for me. So just the other day, I felt hungry in the afternoon. I'm like, did I have lunch? I was like, no, that was yesterday. <laughs> this is just kind of how I am. So let's talk a little bit about the future and close this out. Future isn't going to be better just because time goes by. It's going to be better because a lot of people are working really hard to create that brighter version of the future that they have the vision for creating. And if you've been to San Vito office, our old office, you've seen on the wall, we had the quote that said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. And then since then, I've come across even a better quote by William Gibson that says, the future is already here, it's just not evenly distributed. So if you want to see what the future is, look at some video today, because that's what we're creating. With that said, thank you all for being here. Please enjoy the day. Say hi to everyone else that you see on the tables. Make sure you make a lot of friends, because that's the whole point for the Samvita day. Thank you. Thank you.